Hey everyone, thank you for slithering into my little channel here. I am Simtherin, and I hope you are all doing well. Today is another Harry Potter themed build. We are doing the castle for Hufflepuffs. So if you're a badger, go ahead and like and subscribe. But if you're also not a badger, you can like feel free to do the same. If you're, if you're a lion, you can do it. If you're a raven, you can do it. And if you're a snake, you should definitely do it. Anyway, I've been having so much fun with this series, and we're only two houses in, so we're halfway through. And I realized I probably should talk a little bit about the houses while I'm doing the speed build, right? Like, the Hogwarts houses, not like the house of the build. But... I didn't do that for Ravenclaws, so I'm sorry, my fellow Ravenclaws. I'll make it up to you. But before we get into some Hufflepuff fun, let's talk about this build. It is base game only because throughout this series, all of my castles for each Hogwarts house will be made with just base game for that at, at little added challenge and just to see what I can come up with. Um, this is available for download on the gallery. It is 484,595 simoleons. We've got three bedrooms, we've got three bathrooms, and you can fit, at least the way I furnished it, seven sims. But, you can probably very easily find space for another, uh, another bed or even a whole another bedroom. There is room. And, yeah, that's the basics of the house here. Um, I wanted to make sure I have the green room because, you know, when I think of Hufflepuffs, I think of Herbology. And that's because we have Professor Sprout. Pomona Sprout is the head of the Hogwarts, of the Hogwarts, of Hufflepuff. So she's the head of house for Hufflepuff, and we've got, of course, some other famous Hufflepuffs in the series. First off, Cedric Diggory, of course, he's probably the first one you think of when you think Hufflepuff. If he's not, though, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to see who you guys think of first when you think Hufflepuff. We also have the one and only Nymphadora Tonks. I just adore her. She's probably one of my favorite characters, I think. I say that a lot about a lot of characters. Um, we also have Hannah Abbott and Ernie McMillan and Susan Bones and Justin Flinch, Flinch Fletchy, but of course Newt Scamander as well. So, of course we had to have a greenhouse and we had to do a lot of focus on nature because at least with, you know, we have Sprout who's literally the herbology teacher and Newt Scamander who, if you don't know, is the author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I wish we had some Fantastic Beasts in The Sims. That would be pretty fun. But anyway, here we are. We are working on this grand entrance area that walks right up to the castle. I saw an image of a castle where they had this like luxurious entrance and I wanted to try and recreate it a little bit. It's not perfect, but I really do like how it turned out and I used basically a ton of yellow flowers around the, the entirety of the build. I just went yellow crazy. And if I were to redo the Ravenclaw castle, which by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link it down below or in a card. I mean, there's going to be a whole playlist, but if I had to redo it, I would have gone a little crazier with the blue landscaping, but I still do like how the Ravenclaw castle did come out. So 
So on the official Wizarding World website, there's a little bit about the Hufflepuff common room and it's basically like pretty open. There's a lot of light, which we use a lot of windows and a lot of plants because, you know, very earthy, very colorful and earthy. So. Right now you can see I'm playing around with the landscape and I think I'm starting to get used to the terrain tool. I, there's still a lot of times where I'm just like, work the way I want you to, but it's pretty cool. And then we are doing a little water feature, just really tiny and small, right in front of the entrance. And I think I end up putting a little fountain in there and surrounding that with water and... Oh, I originally put this down, but then I was like, um... This is not base game. That arch is from Romantic Garden and this thing. But honestly, it would have looked really cool. But that's my opinion. I also had a lot of issues with... Why can't we put fountains on a platform? Because I didn't necessarily want it to be a pool, but it ended up being a pool and I raised it up. It's not on a platform, it but words. It is on a foundation. And now we are moving on to adding the flowers. I did cut a lot of this out, so I only show a little bit because I read some of your comments and you guys want to see more of the interior. So that is definitely in here. We've got most of it is in here except for a lot of the repetitive stuff because I use some of the same furniture. So like, for example, I only show one bedroom and I don't think I show any of the bathrooms, but they're basically all the same. Here, we're using the tool mod to sink down some rocks to make it more believable that this is actually here. Before we get into the interior, while you guys watch me cover up this ugly dirt that the terrain tool likes to leave, um, I have a question for you. It dawned on me that it's been at least 10 years since I have reread the series, the whole Harry Potter series. Now, I've reread the series at least, I lost count, I used to know, but it was like seven at least, maybe more. Um, I've read it a lot, of, a lot of times and maybe that shows some of my age, but if I were to reread the series at some point this year, would you guys like to see something relating to the series on this channel? Or maybe it might just even be like a Twitter thread. But with that said, if you're interested in hearing my thoughts after rereading it and after not visiting the books for 10 years, uh, let me know in the comments below or when was the last time you guys read the books? I haven't even seen the movies in a long time, but they live rent free up in my head. Oh, I also wanted to make a cool little pool feature back here and I kind of use a trick similar to what I've seen Kate Emerald do. And I think it kind of came out pretty nice. It's like a little roundish, like, it's like a snowman or an eight, whatever. But I think it looked really cool and I think it fit the space back there pretty well. And I imagine it was just kind of surrounded by flowers as it is here. And the backyard looks pretty cozy to me. But here we are, we are moving onto the kitchen and when I put this wallpaper down that was it that was it for the rest of the castle I knew exactly where I was going it was perfect but this kitchen is much bigger than the one that the Ravenclaw castle had and 
I absolutely love it. It's so spacious. It's so fancy and clean and light. And... Yeah, and lots of cabinet space. Lots of it because... I, I liked it. It was cool. After my failed attempt in trying to make some cool cabinet feature above the island, we move on to cluttering up the counters and... I feel like I used those crates were perfect and I stick eh, I stick those jars into the crates like I size them down and I don't know I figured so I imagine that these Hufflepuffs these students really do take gardening and herbology pretty seriously so you're gonna see a lot of themes as well I think yeah there's a couple of art easels in here as well I really do like the way the greenhouse came out, but I love this dining room even more. This was like, to me, it really does look like a student dining spot with the round, one round table and then we've got like the little couch with the table. Like obviously it's not functional and I wish it was, but it isn't. So I'm sorry if you want it to be. You can delete the couch and put some chairs, I guess. In here, we're just going to clutter up this little end table with some books and the Princess Cordelia statue. But definitely a lot of books used as clutter because when I think Hogwarts, I think academics and I think books. And these are students, so of course there's going to be books around. I also really tried not to keep repeating the same artwork and plants, but with base game, unfortunately, it doesn't always work out. Here is what I am calling the common room, and we've got a little sitting area. We also have a fireplace with some chairs in front of it as well for those cozy winter nights. And then we are about to, first, first, the study. Really small, not as big as the Ravenclaw study, but still a library nonetheless. Nice and little area to study your butts off. Next is our greenhouse. In our greenhouse, we have plenty of planters, plenty of clutter. We've got plenty of easels for your skill building needs. And we are quickly finishing this video and getting to the end of it already which is insane but if you made it this far i appreciate you so much and i really do hope that you stick around for the tour and i hope you enjoy the bedroom because after this greenhouse we get into decorating the bedroom if you enjoyed this video please feed that youtube algorithm and give it a big thumbs up subscribe and then ring the bell to get alerts on the next video and the next hogwarts castle until next time my friends never tickle a sleeping dragon bye